hey guys so i guess you are enjoying the videos and you are familiar to 8051 and uh, keel so today we will be experimenting on a new device a stepper motor how to control your stepper motor with 8051 so here is a very basic assembly level code written uh, written by me on uh, on keel so before proceeding with the code let us understand how a basic stepper motor works the best website to understand a stepper motor is Wikipedia you can you have a very great uh, gif animation over here which explains you how a basic stepper motor works and how your step angle is calculated so the center one uh, rotating over here is called the rotor the exterior rim on which the poles are attached stepper poles are uh, called is a stator which does not move so as you can see as the stepper uh, poles are magnetized the corresponding uh, stator teeth align to the pole and hence this way the step angle changes in a stepper motor for calculation of the stepper motor you can refer to the frame 4 over here and for further information regarding stepper motor you have you can visit wikipedia page or any other informative websites on stepper motor uh, so let us understand how we have made this code so here you can see first I have taken the value uh, 88H on the accumulator which is corresponding to this we will be using only the last 4 bits uh, uh, which are connected to the 4 poles of the stepper motor but it doesn't matter you can use the, the whole port uh, if you are not using the other 4 bits so here we are uh, right shifting uh, RR is a command which, move, uh, which right shifts your bit by 1 bit so here you have an accumulator uh, after the right shift uh, commented and then afterwards you can see you uh, uh, move the value of the accumulator to the port P0 on which stepper motor is attached then after a particular amount of delay this de delay may st uh, vary from stepper to stepper so you might have to adjust the delay after the particular amount of delay again your accumulator shifts right which will become 0010 and the third third pole will be activated similarly due to this motion the stepper moves towards the right you similarly you have other assembly level commands ll to move the stepper motor to the left LLA. You can try it out on your own if you want. So now we'll further check whether the code is correct or not. Save. Build. Zero error zero warning. And let's check on the hardware whether the code is working perfectly or not. So here you can see uh, as we dump in the code, uh, you can see the stepper motor rotating right in, an, uh, in a clockwise fashion. And here you can see we have used the stepper driver for as stepper motors re usually require a higher amount of current next we'll see the simulation of stepper motor in proteus for selecting the stepper motor go to parts in the keyword section type stepper press enter you'll see we have two types of motor available bipolar stepper motor and unipolar stepper motor we choose bipolar stepper motor model it consists of four stators and a rotor press ok one has to be very careful with the wiring of the stepper motor. Now, double click on the stepper motor. You can see that the step angle for the motor is set as 90 degree. So, depending upon the stepper motor step angle, we have to make changes in our codes. So, you can see here we are just giving 88H and we are right shifting this. Now, if you run this code, you can see that the step angle now is 0. It changed to minus 90. After a delay, it will change minus 80, minus 270, and minus 360. Now, one can change the step angle of the stepper motor and play with the delay to observe the rotation of the stepper motor for that particular step angle.